Comprehensive Soldier Fitness has a new home on Fort Benning. Brown Hall is now officially the center of resilience training on Fort Benning. The new CSF Prep Center already has units and individual soldiers, as well as family members getting trained on how to be more resilient. Comprehensive Soldier Fitness Performance and Resilience Enhancement Program, or CSF Prep, is designed to test a soldier's maximum mental and physical strength. The program is strategically designed to be comparable to combat. Now we're working on the psychological fitness and resilience of soldiers and their families. We will continue to work on the psychological fitness of the force, just like we do physical fitness. The course includes a week-long class where the soldiers alternate between mental tasks and physical stress, which allows them to understand their weaknesses and makes them slow down their mind and focus on the task at hand. 32.500, Bandit 26. For example, doing push-ups then threading a needle would be the combat equivalent to carrying a wounded soldier then starting an IV. You see people also get that aha moment, that epiphany, like, oh, that's why I was able to do this, or that's why I got into trouble at that one moment in time. Now, as they go from this course and start to incorporate these mental skills and what they're doing on a daily basis and teach them to other folks, that's when they'll really start to be able to act this stuff out and we'll see a lot higher levels of performance. The CSF prep course is primarily about goal setting. Short-term and long-term goals are important to a soldier's work and home life, and the Army plans to teach them the more effective way to set their goals. When you come through this course, they teach you how to break it down, have that goal so the ups and downs in life that everybody experiences, when you're on that down, you pull off it faster because you have your goal. But I think the most important part of this program is goal setting. And it helps you in so many facets in life. Even if you have a setback in life, you still have that goal out there. You can quickly bounce back and focus on what's important. The soldiers that participated in the pilot program were experienced non-commissioned officers, as well as second lieutenants right out of Infantry Basic Officer Leadership course. And you look at how soldiers are, they are athletes and beyond. So we're taking all the sports psychology concepts, all the performance psychology concepts from research and literature, and we're applying it now to this context of the soldier. The newest graduates of the program anticipate a healthy career with the knowledge that they learned during their prep course. It makes you think more about you as an individual and your ability to process information and apply it. Visualize what you're going to do, walk yourself through it, and then perform it at a much higher uh, succession rate. I can tell you that there's no question that this helps soldiers. Oh, by the way, it's fantastic for families. After a successful week of training soldiers, the CSF prep program has their grand opening outside of Brown Hall, the new epicenter of resilience on Fort Benning. You know, the most important thing is you show soldiers how much you care. If you sit down and do goals with someone and break it down and you help them attain where they want to be and you're, you're, you're setting their path for success, do you think they know you care about them? Heck yes. The Comprehensive Soldier Fitness Performance and Resilience Enhancement Program is preparing our soldiers for the future, making a force that's not only a team of teams, but will be Army strong today and for years to come.